Hello, my name is Desiree Thomas and I am a Youth Services Librarian at Worthington Libraries. Today I get the honor of sharing some titles with you that are perfect for your high school student. The first title that I would like to share with you is Ray Bearer by Jordan Epico. Now Tara Sai is a young girl being raised in isolation. She rarely sees her mother and she keeps trying to break out of the house. The only one who comes, only people who come to the house are servants and teachers. Nobody really interacts with her. So when she breaks out of the house, she accidentally meets her father and her father is a land spirit who's in charge of taking care of their land, but he's tethered to this land by a promise that Teresai's mother made him make. So he tells Teresai that she too will have to follow her mother's ruling in order to free them both. As time progresses, Teresai's mother sends her to this palace to see if she can be initiated and join in with the prince there but she gives her daughter an edict. When she gets close to the prince, Teresai is supposed to kill the prince. This is an edict that Teresai can't go against, but when she gets to the castle, she finds that she actually really likes the prince and she's trying her best not to harm him. The best thing about Ray Bearer is the world building in it Every community is in this book and it's imaginative and fun and the relationships are so divine and wonderful. So if you have some fantasy readers in your life, I would suggest Ray Bearer by Jordan Ifuko, especially if they liked Children of Blood and Bones or Kingdom of Lost Souls. The next title that I would like to share with you is Fantasy of a different kind. This is a Korean fantasy and it's called Wicked Fox by Kat Cho. Now Gumiho is a Gumiho, which is a fox spirit. So she's got nine tails and the way that she survives is she takes the energy of men. So that's the only way she can survive. She's half human, half fox. Now her and her mother have been moving from place to place, hidden in plain sight. When an interaction with a shaman goes super wrong and she uses her, loses her fox bead. Now her fox bead is like her soul and her spirit. She loses it when she's trying to save Jihoon, who is this young boy from her school who is being tormented by another Gumiho. So now, She's trying not to kill Jihoon, who inadvertently has her fox stone and trying to figure out another way to save both of them. If you have students or children, well, high school students who are fans of Korean dramas and fans of adventure, fans of fantasy, then give Wicked Fox a try. The next title that I have for you is The New David Espinoza, written by Fred Aceves. Now, David is living a pretty good life. He's got a great girlfriend. He's got great friends that he's been friends with forever but he gets into a fight with the local bully at school and it's filmed and that film goes viral. And he gets this nickname that highlights his thin frame. And he decides that he's gonna take matters into his own hands and he's never going to be made to look like a punk again. So he starts working out really hard, being really concerned with protein. He starts going to this gym. Everything becomes about sets, reps, and going the distance. And then he notices that the guy who owns the gym, he's becoming friends with, 
is actually taking steroids and that is something that is helping him bulk up. And David decides that that may be the path for him. In the end, he learns a little bit more about body dysmorphia and about true friendship. And um, this really is another side of eating disorders, but from a male perspective. It's a really good story, really well written. And again, that title is The New David Espinosa by Fred Aceves. The next title that I have for you is A Wonderful Romance, and it is Turning Romance on Its Head. The title of it is More Than Just a Pretty Face. Now, in this instant, it's Daniel who is the pretty face. Now, Daniel is class clown. He loves making jokes. He loves pranking people. And he really and truly wants to be a chef, no matter what his dad says. So his goal is to be a chef, open up his own restaurant, and marry his longtime crush, Caval, who is his best friend's sister. Caval, however, doesn't know he exists. And then David does a prank in school that actually it puts him on the wrong side of a teacher. So now he has to do this presentation on the best man. But he has never been known for his educational pursuits. So in comes Bisma. Now Bisma is a young girl that Dave, Daniel's parents introduced him to in the hope that they might get married because arranged marriages is something still that happens um, in his family. They get along as friends, but he's still fixated on Cabal. But as they spend more and more time together, Bisma helps him see another side of himself and he helps honor her and her own uniqueness. Again, this is a romance from the male's perspective and he learns a lot about friendship and love and being your best self and having the courage to follow your dreams. Again, that title is More Than Just a Pretty Face and it's by Saeed Masood. The last title that I have for you is called Girls Like Us and is written by Randy Pink. Now there are four girls in this story who are all experiencing unwanted pregnancies. And they come to this house. This is way before Roe versus Wade actually was in existence. And they're all dealing with unwanted pregnancies in their own different ways. So the story chronicles their lives before they arrived at a halfway house that's run by this nun who has been spearheading um, halfway houses and just trying to find ways to take care of girls who find themselves in this position. It is a brilliant explanation or examination of the topic of abortion, but also of choice and who owns your body and autonomy, body autonomy. And it's also relevant to today with the things that are going on now. So if you have readers in your life who like fiction that is realistic, um, then I would definitely give them Girls Like Us by Randy Pink. So all of those titles are available to you through your library, you can come visit us at Worthington Libraries, just reserve the books and you'll be able to pick them up through curbside or drive through. Uh, some of these titles are also available on Overdrive and Hoopla. So we hope that you will come and get some of these titles and that you'll enjoy them. Thank you so much for listening.